See now, this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. You can also get this view of an animal by simply double-clicking on it. Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Panthera Leo Leo, or the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride, although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome, which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. As you can see, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain something. Well, two somethings. Warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. There we are, a pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select Adopt from the side menu. Normally the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which, as it happens, you are. So, how about you move them into their new home? When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat, but I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Right, let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, social health, habitat and enrichment. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, 
Each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. That bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Oh, nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now, our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and what's-its all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. Oh, before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause the game. Just click the pause button in the bottom right corner. Ah, that's more like it. A quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration, because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built. Okay. Job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Good work! Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. At least not without a stepladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. <laughs> 